Hello folks, my name is Mark and this is UCD Toy Reviews. How you guys doing? And today we're taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins Prince Adam Sky Sled, the jet-powered rescue rocket. This thing looks really awesome and I'm very, very happy to finally get one, so let's check it out. So yeah, you know, Masters of the Universe Origins stuff is, uh, you know, used to be pretty hard to come by and now I actually am seeing a lot of these in the stores and stuff, so I guess, you know, when these first came out, getting them on the aftermarket was really expensive. And it's like, well, all you had to do was wait six months. <laughs> and now you can get them in any target, so that's really cool. So let's take a look at that packaging. Looks pretty awesome there, you know, they got the uh, Sky Sled. It looks like it has uh, interchangeable heads. That's really cool. So, you know, you can uh, use it for good and evil. And then, of course, comes with uh, Prince Adam. Check him out. And let's look at that artwork across the top. That's fantastic. I noticed that there's uh, a couple of little Easter eggs here. You know, we have the Rotan, which I'm wondering if they're gonna like put one of those out in Origins. And then you got Faker hanging out over here. And that's really cool. And I don't know how, but somehow, I think these guys here, is it, it kinda looks just like He-Man, you know? Or these Royal Guards, I think that's what they are. Those are like Attorney and Royal Guards, so maybe they'll make a Royal Guards figure. That's really kind of awesome. And then who's this guy? I don't know who that is. This little dude down here with the horns? Hmm, maybe that's a new original character or something like that. Maybe that's like generic man. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we have our artwork across the back of, uh, you know, Prince Adam on the Sky Sled. Got Trapjaw fighting um, Man in Arms there in the back. And he's shooting Skeletor. Looks like Skeletor is wearing his battle armor. That's battle armor Skeletor. Kind of cool, of course, Beastman and the castle in the back. And then here, the features of the uh, Sky Sled here. Looks like it's got interchangeable heads. It's got uh, interchangeable stickers on the bottom. So you can swap it out saying, you know, the good guys or the bad guys are, are uh, using it. And then, of course, all the different figures in the line. Pretty awesome stuff. So I am very, very stoked to finally get one of these. I didn't usually, you know, buy I've never actually owned the original of this so when I was a kid I had almost all of the figures like almost all of them I think I was missing like you know two or three and I had some of the vehicles too you know I had Battle Cat and I had the Bashasaurus and the Dragon Walker and I actually had this Rotan thing you know but I never had the the Sky Sled never had because the Sky the Sky Sled came with a Battle Ram you know so it was actually this part was just a part that hung out at the front of the battle ram and then you would take it off and it would fly around and stuff. Never actually had that. So, kind of stoked to actually get one of these. You know, this is sort of like fulfilling a childhood dream and stuff for me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open it up. All right, here. I'm not gonna worry about the condition of the box or anything on this because these are actually kind of common. So I don't think these are gonna really be worth anything in 20, 30 years, not really. You know, maybe, but I'm not buying this stuff to invest, you know what I mean? <laughs> Never really understood that, you know, people who buy toys to invest in them. And I guess just sometimes, you know, there are certain things that are going to be worth money. You might as well buy two or three of them. But I always figure, you know, if you're going to be spending stuff like this, and if you're going to, if you want to make money, you should buy stock or Bitcoin or something. So let's take a look at that before we go further. So you can see it without the uh, window glare. It's, I know it, it does look larger than the original. I could say that it's at least like, you know, twice as large, I would say. And then, of course, there goes the figure. So let's take this off of here. Let's see, we got these rubber bands. And how well is this going to come out? Am I going to have to like undo stuff? Probably. Yeah, I think there's probably no way of getting it out without destroying the plastic around it, so c'est la vie let's uh, do it there we go that's cool, very very nice I like, let's see here's the other head alright let's put that down there Here's a little stand. That's kind of cool. Comes with this little stand here that you can display it. 
Alright, so try to get that out without breaking it. I guess it goes on with this little base down there. Alright, let's see if we can remove these nice and easy without uh, scratching the plastic any, you know, or whatnot. There's the base. Okay, and I guess this little plastic thing kind of hangs out in the middle of this little base here. How does that go in there? Ah, there we go. And then you put your sky sled. Okay, it has a little slot on the bottom. All right. Hmm. Is that like easily removable? I don't want to put it in there if it's like not removable. <laughs> hmm. That doesn't really seem to want to go in there. You know what? That actually looks like once you put it in, you're like you're not going to be able to get it out. I don't know how much I want to do that. <laughs> Because I don't want that to be permanently stuck on there. I want to be able to put it on and take it off. Okay, what is this? Is this like a rocket blast kind of thing? Come on out. Yep, rocket blast. Alright, and then we have these things down here. Which are a little, uh, I guess I'm just going to have to tear this open in order to get to it. Here are the little sides, alright, we'll look at all these in greater detail in a minute. And then Prince Adam, okay, let's see here, rubber bands, rubber bands, alright, he came out pretty easy. Let's get that out of here. Alright, so now that we have everybody out, let's take a look at all of this stuff. <laughs> Alright, now that we have everything out, let's take a look at this stuff one piece at a time. First off, let's take a look at the Prince Adam figure. Looking pretty good, you know, he's got the purple uh, hose on and his tunic. I like how the tunic is actually rubber, it's not cloth, that's kind of cool. And uh, of course these have the usual ma uh, modern Masters of the Universe, uh, you know, origins articulation. You got your head, you got your body that moves across, you got shoulders, you have um, elbows right here, and then wrists. Okay, at the hips, at the knees, at the feet and then also middle leg like that. So you can get some dynamic poses going. This one seems to be very tight here. I want to be very careful. You know, I think, yeah, his, his arm is very, very tight here. So I don't want to force that, you know. Um, one thing you can do when you encounter these sort of tight joints in figures like these is put it in hot water and that'll loosen it up a little bit without like breaking anything <laughs> right both of his his shoulder his uh, elbows are very tight there we go so that one actually moved so got that one it's able to move now this one is very tight here i want to be very careful with that i don't want to break that but anyhow here's the sword got the power sword it's uh purple just like the uh original handle is a little big but it actually fits in his hand so that's good you know so you got Prince Adam, of course. I have the power. That's right, baby. All right. Let's set him back over here. Now let's take a look at the main attraction, which of course is the sky sled. That is a thing of beauty. Look at that. It's actually big. It's way, it, yeah, it's definitely bigger than the original. I could say that for sure. I like these, I like the details, I like the laser guns on there, and I don't think they're, oh wow, that moves, okay. 
See, I, I don't, I never had the original, so I don't know, does this actually, was this a feature that was on there? Did it have a laser gun that moved around like that? I don't think so. I think this is actually new. And of course, here's our little radar screen at the front. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. This is, let me guess, does this, is this like, does this go in the front of the laser cannon? Yeah. So it's like it's shooting, you know, or whatever. And then you have these guys that kind of clip on to the side. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing, you know, you could have like the green ones are the good guys. And then uh, these pop out. Is that what it is? Yeah, these come out. Okay, let's see. Uh, how do you pop these out? Oh, uh, they just come off like that. All right. Let's be, uh, whoa, that's a little, okay. That comes off. Kind of cool. And then you can put in your new ones. So that's cool. So you could conceivably buy two of these if you wanted. And then, like, you know, if you wanted to have some for uh, He-Man and some for Skeletor. And each side, because they, because in the show they're both seen using sky sleds, like both sides. What else you got here? Laser guns here. These don't move or anything. Okay. Does this move? Not really. Nothing else really moves. This is only that. And then you have your head. Here's the extra head. So, looks like this is like a snake head, kind of, sort of. I guess that makes sense, because this is like an eagle head. So, makes sense that the uh, good guys would have the eagle motif and the bad guys would have the snake motif. Not bad at all, not bad. And then let's put Adam on the back. Now let's see, okay, so there are little pegs here on the floor. See that? See the little peg? And I'm guessing what it is is that you just put the pegs on the feet. Yep, there's feet there. Okay, pegs on the feet. Let's see how we can do this. There we go. And then that side, I don't think that was a feature on the original one either. And then, sort of, he hangs on like that. Hmm. Yep, that fits. Okay, this arm is still, I, I can't bend that arm too much, so we'll just put the sword in his hand. I have to go work that arm a little bit under some water before I feel confident bending it. And yeah, you know, it fits on there rather well. In fact, the uh, the pegs kind of keep them from falling off. So that's really cool, man. You know? <laughs> right on, right on. And then you have this thing. Okay, so this is the base. Now I'm looking at this. And it has sort of like this hexagon thing. And you kind of see how it flares out a little like that. And I'm looking at the bottom of this thing. See that? Kind of looks like once you put it in there, it's not going to come out. I'm a little afraid because I don't want to have this permanently be affixed in here. You know what I mean? Like, I do want to put it on this, on this thing and display it like that. But I don't want that to be permanently stuck. You know, because I want to be able to take this thing off whenever I feel like it. Alright, can you take this off? Should I hope so. <laughs> I just didn't permanently stick that in there, did I? Mm, it's not coming out. <laughs> I mean, okay, that'll look good to display on a shelf. But what if I want to not have that on there? Then... That kind of ruins it, man. I mean, you know, I guess I could buy another one. Or I guess I could just snap it off. Yeah, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have put that in there, because now you can't get it off. That's really... How are you supposed to get this out? It doesn't come out. Wow, I mean... I guess it's fine since I'm going to be displaying it. You know, then I guess that's fine. But still, if I was a kid and I did that, I'd be pissed. If I was if I was a child, if I was like, you know, you know, 9, 10, 11, and I wanted to play with this, you know, and like, have it fly around, that means it's stuck to that base. I'd, that means you'd have to snap this off in order to get it off of there. I'd be kind of angry at that. So, I think that's a little, that's a negative, I gotta say. But still, you know, it's actually nice and balanced. You know, that's how it's like, you can move it around in any way, and it's sort of staying so. I think that's actually going to look really cool on the shelf. <laughs> Wish I could take this off of here, though. That's going to be... Wow. That's... That's bad. 
that's really not a that's not a good thing. I, I can't I can't get behind that. So anyway, before we end this, let's do a quick comparison. So I do not have, of course, an old sky sled to compare to, but I do have a vintage Prince Adam figure. And so let me take a uh, look at that. And we can put them right next to our new Prince Adam. So this is vintage Prince Adam right here. And you can kind of see, whoa, <laughs> sword fell out. You can kind of see, you know, they look pretty close to each other. The colors are much brighter on this. Um, my Prince Adam has the original vest, but I don't have the belt that comes with it. The vest and the belt are actually kind of hard to find intact on the uh, vintage Prince Adams. Like usually you'll find either the vest or the belt, but not both together. And then if you do find a belt, it'll like be all stretched out because all it really was was just elastic with a little, it looked just like this. It was just elastic with a little button on it like that. So, but you can see I do have the, the original felt jacket that came with them. But besides that, you know, everything else looks pretty good. It's actually pretty close. I would like to get a vintage head sculpt for these. Kind of wish they had the same vintage head sculpt, you know. But that's just my own personal preference. Then, of course, the power sword. Pretty close here, you know, except the one thing is that Prince Adam had half a sword, just like He-Man. <laughs> you can see that the plastic is a little darker on the vintage one. But still, that's kind of cool. And let's see, will he fit on this? Yeah, it looks like he'll fit on it. Probably not as well because there's no there's no holes on the bottom of the vintage uh, Prince Adam, you know. But still, that actually looks pretty good like that. You know, uh, maybe I might uh, position, I might display him like that on there. Anyway, I think overall I'm still very happy with these. I, um, I really like this figure in particular. I think that turned out really well, you know. Um, I like the, uh, how they made the vest and the, you know, and everything like hard rubber like that. You know, I think that actually kind of works a lot better than having soft goods. I was never really a fan of soft goods with my, uh, with my toys. And I think all of this is great. I love the, um, laser cannon on it. I love the swappable, interchangeable parts and stuff like that. The only thing that I don't like is this. I don't like how this little stand is permanent. And I'm gonna have to like see if I can work that out of there in some way without breaking it. Cause I mean, I do like the stand, but I, I would like the ability to take it off when you want to. Overall folks, I think it's a winner. And you know, this line, this Masters of the Universe Origins line is still my most favorite toy ever. <laughs> Definitely my most favorite toy to collect nowadays. So anyway, folks, that's all I got. Adios.